Welcome back trainers and in this video we're going to be bringing back Shadow Mawile for the Remix Cup and the thing is going to be putting in the work. We're going to be going with Firefang here and we're going to be going with Dredagon just for a little bit and then Krokowler will be on the team the entire time and we're going to switch Dredagon for Giratina in a little bit. The thing is amazing in the Remix Cup. If you do enjoy my Go Battle League videos and you want to support me, please give this a thumbs up. That'd be much appreciated. All right, so let's see what we have going on. So Crocaller and Mawile can be a little bit tricky in some situations when we do lose our dragon, but we can figure it out. So let's see what's going on here. No health on the Mawile, but getting off the power up punch and bringing in the Dredagon. We're going to swap as they do have Wormadam Trash in the back, which is going to be extremely weak to fire. As you can see here, we can let this go. All the charge moves are not very effective as Crocaller is a pure fire type. We're going to be going with Disarming Voice as well as Crunch on this here. And uh, it does pretty well. And of course, Incinerate. So we're going to go ahead and get off that first Crunch on the uh, Ampharos. And down we go. Oh, we've got one shield left and full health on the Dredagon. So it doesn't really matter here. We're looking pretty good. And we're taking that win here. Let's go. All right, next game. We're going to lead Shadow Maul Wild the entire time. Met with a Magnezone. This is amazing. They're going to be swapping and bringing in a Cresselia. Now, ah, ooh, you know, I, I shouldn't have went. I should have swapped into my other guy there. But, oh, well. As now they're going to be able to hit us with the Moonblast. So we should have just went with the Crocaller as... We would have been able to take the hits because we're fire. We resist the fairy as well as the grass if they don't have future sight. So this is going to KO us, unfortunately. Oh, shit. Let's see. Yeah, definitely taking us out. Dredagon in the Great League is... Uh, can't really take a hit, but it sure does hit hard. Bring it in Mawile to farm them now, but not before they get to a charge move, but that's okay. We resist everything here. Grass not eh, doing a decent amount. And Gligar in the back here. Now, this was... A continuous nuisance for me and my team here as we are going to have two things weak to ground so if we went with something else like i don't know a water pokemon it wouldn't be such a threat but since we are rocking two things weak to ground it is a little annoying but we do work around it as you see there and we're taking the win let's keep it going here um crocaller to me i've said it before i'll say it again it, it's just a little so such a weird design i don't know what the hell is up with that all right, anyways, they're going to be swapping into that Gligar. We're going to bring in our Dredagon to have a little fun here. Still don't have a shiny one of these. Still do not have a shiny. And I refuse to do as many raids as I can to get one. Okay, not happening. I'll do one once in a blue moon. Uh, but you know how it goes. All right, it'll show up when it shows up. And we do have enough energy to get off a crunch here. I do decide to go with this because of the typing. Oh, we just didn't know. All right, so I figured they were going to shield anyways, so it was better off trying to get the defense drop, so that's why I went for crunch. Oh, we're going up against another Shadow Mawile. I wasn't paying attention because I was yapping. Shout out to this user here. Let's see what's going on. Let's get a little bit close. A mirror match in the beginning with Shadow Mawiles. Let's see what's good, what's good, what's good. We just need to get to two disarming voices, and we do. This should be enough to KO them. They do have a shield, so of course they are going to be shielding this up, but we have another one back-to-back. -back. And uh, this goofy little thing here is going to take the win for us. Let's go. Egghead for the win. All right. Hot egg. Okay. Golden egg. I don't know what the hell is going on there. Uh, we are met with a, an Alolan Raichu. Okay. I love that design. One of the best. Top, top tier. All right. For sure. Especially the shiny. I love the way its eyes look. All right. So whatever they throw at us is going to KO. This little guy hits very hard and we have no health. We're just going to let it go. Looks like I figured they're going to do that. All right, so they're retreating and immediately swapping into their Ferrothorn. So we're going to bring in our Egghead and have a little fun here as we are going to just incinerate it, letting that go and taking them down there. Very good. And they're backing out. I mean, I would too at that point because, well, yeah, you know, it was a wrap. Let's keep it going here. Mawile into an Empoleon. So since the move has shifted into the Steel Wing now is what people like to use, uh, you know, they're still going to be able to kind of outpace me here, sort of. But uh, it's not as horrible because, well, the quick move Waterfall does a whole hell of a lot of damage. So they're swapping into their Sableye here. We're going to go ahead and bring in old Egghead. I'm going to keep calling him that. Okay. <laughs> oh, hitting me with a surprise return. I had a feeling that I might throw one of those sneaky returns. But that's all right. They're letting it go. We take them down, not wanting to use their last shield. Sounds good. A super effective disarming voice bringing back the Empoleon. And since we resist that steel wing and we're fire, we're able to get to the crunch and take them out. 
It just works to my benefit every time I encounter that thing, every time. I, I promise you, I'm telling you, man. All right, so we do have a... Um, what is it? What is it what, uh, Frost Lask. <laughs> got a little Joe Biden moment there. All right, we're going to go ahead and uh, we got Giratina on the team. Oh, boy, Big Daddy. It's not joking around and we're taking that win. Let's go. All right, next one. Uh, Cresselia. Yeah, I love this matchup here. Now, since we're Shadow and Mawile, unfortunately, we just, even if we resist it, we take a lot of damage unless it is Dragon, as we do have a massive resistance to that as opposed to other things because of the Steel and Fairy, right? Because of, more so because of the Fairy. Uh, all right, so what do we have here? Yeah, that does a whole hell of a lot. We could shield this up and farm them down, but we're going to let it go so we can just start farming them up here. And I do believe we go with the... Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, let's go ahead and bring in this guy here. Farm him down. And they are a oh, tentacle. Okay, that's not great. So we're just going to go ahead and throw a crunch as they do resist the fire as well as the fairy because of the water and poison. So we'll go ahead and bring in the Giratina. We resist everything on them as well because we're dragon and uh, ghost. And they are going to be bringing in a Gligar. I do believe I throw a double shadow ball. No, okay. That was wrong. I just literally saw myself tap it. Oh, double shadow ball. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, just going to keep throwing those. Um, okay. Going to go for a Shadow Ball now. Okay, they let it go. We're still holding on to one shield. This is not looking particularly great for me. I don't think we're going to be able to pull this off. We needed that Giratina. And like I said, the Gligars can be a pretty big nuisance to me for this team if I don't handle them correctly. And we have no more shields. Wait a minute. It's not over, folks. Oh, my goodness. What's happening here? Oh boy. So they let it go because they knew we had two crunches, right? So nice. Next game, we're met with a Greedent. All right. Greedent is a pretty good Pokemon, actually. Um, <laughs> it can spam that body slam. Not very effective. Yeah, okay. Still, still effective. <laughs> Perfectly effective here. So yeah, we're not going to win this matchup, and I'm not going to just start draining all my shields here. Uh, we'll just let it go, getting to one more power punch, doing some decent damage, I suppose, but they're going to have a good amount of energy. All right, we're getting both shields out of them. Oh, okay, well, I guess that works too. So Giratina obviously doesn't want to go up against that, seeing that we have all uh, dragon or um, ghost moves, all resisted by the normal type. So we'll go ahead and bring in a good old Egghead here, and we are going to handle the business. And they just hit me with uh, a flurry of these damn body slams over and over again. Come on, farm them down. I have to at this point to make up for what's going to happen. I'm supposed. I'm just guessing here. And we do have a crunch ready to go. Going to go ahead and throw that. Throw another one here. Oh, looks like we're going for the disarming voice for whatever reason. And then swapping into the Giratina at this point. Now they can have Ice Beam. That could be a possibility, but we get to the Ominous win. Will this be enough? Come on. And it is fantastic. What's in the back? Oh, well, it's over. Okay. Yeah, Jellicent. Going to get to the Shadow Ball, and this will one-shot them, plus the Shadow Claws that we did do here. And we take that win. Giratina sweep at the end. Let's go. Set up by the other Pokemon, and Mawile taking the shields, of course. Another Shadow Magnet Zone with the Mawile. That's great. They're swapping into Gligar, and this is going to be our best answer. Giratina here. And I, mean, I learned my lesson, I think, going to Shadow Balls. I think I'm still going to try to do it later on, but... You know, I can build up to the Shadow Ball, go Ominous win, they'll let it go. I build up to the Shadow Ball, go for the Shadow Ball, they shield it up. It's like, geez, I can't win around here. I can't freaking win around here. Gosh, drives me crazy sometimes. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and throw another Ominous win, and we're getting a shield out of them finally. Now, we bring them low enough to the point that we could potentially farm them down. Although they could still get to a dig. I, I, yeah, more than like, yes, taking them out. All right, great, good. Uh, and then Annihilate. So we're just going to throw the hard-hitting move here. If they want to use that last shield, be my freaking guest. If they let it go, we immediately swap into Egghead. And this could be a Shadow Ball. I don't... Because I'm counting. Yeah, definitely Shadow Ball. Oh, boy. Going to go for the Crunch. As Fairy is not very effective to the Steel. Mawile still holding on to an inch of health. Oh, no, not an inch. Still half health left. Okay, we're fine. We're good. Shield this up. Easy money. And then we'll Fire Fang down the Annihilate here. And or they'll back out. We take the win. All right, let's keep it going here. All right. It was nice using Shadow Mawile again. Oh, wow. What do you know? Algorithm's on my side. No, I'm just showing you a good amount of battles because it's either like super hard countered or just, you know, there's no decently neutral games. It's like they just can't let that happen, can they? 
All right, so they swap into their Swampert here. I'm not going to show you all the games that I won easy, okay? We're going to have bad leads, okay? <laughs> you already know that. Uh, nice lag going on here. I do believe they quit or something. I don't remember. Okay, yeah. All right, taking the win there. And it was, uh, you know, you know. I mean, what were they supposed to do? <laughs> Mall wild lead into a Swampert swap Giratina. It's like, yeah, just back out too. Especially during Go Battle Day, you don't have time to waste around just like trying to maybe maybe I can pull this back with a laggy catch. Now you can just get out of there and you know play your next game, right? I get it, I did it too. All right, so this is going to be a complete counter right here. A Mawile into Guzzlord is pretty damn good for me, and this is not a great swap in for them. Okay, this is I just counter them in every way. Now we're not super effective, but all their moves are resisted. All right, so we take that win, and of course they're going to be bringing back Guzzlord to farm us down here, and I'm just going to be bringing right into the battle mall while uh, and they have a crest in the back I counter them yet again with the fire <laughs> to the grass and to the fairy so they back out and I get it see it's a coin flip most of these damn games if they can just allow the dice to roll randomly no dice just a random matchup okay just let us battle who's within our rank no team no moves no counters no Pokemon types just let us battle and wouldn't that be amazing they would, people would actually enjoy it really and at that point, if you did not enjoy it, you can say it could be from the lag. But if it was completely random, oh my gosh. If you're losing, it's, it's all your fault at that point. Okay. <laughs> all right, we get the booze with Giratina. Let's go. Enough on that rant tangent. We're going for the nuke. Damn, we raised our attack and defense. Shadow Ball nuke. They blocked. They knew better. Now we have to look out for Drill Run. A newer addition to Dugong's moveset here. Not so new anymore. It's been here for a minute, but definitely well needed. And I was that's what I was afraid of. That they went for the Icy Wind, and I would shield it up. And so they lowered my attack and took my last shield. And uh, now they're going to be able to KO me here with Drill Run. <laughs> All right. So we're going to bring in good old Egghead. They do have a Pidgeot in the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw a Crunch here, as it does cost, cost less energy. And it's going to be able to lower their defense. All right, so we're going to swap to catch. This is our win con. What well, does crunch cause less energy? And nice catch there. Nice catch, nice catch. But will it help me take the win? Will catching like that help you still pull the win off? Let's see. I don't think every time it's going to help you. This is going to be a troll run. Survive with one HP. Come on. Oh, dang it. Good game. Good game. I tried. I tried. I tried. All right, next game. Oh, <laughs> All right, we have a Gligar. This is not a good lead here. So usually you're just going to want to stay because we have a bad matchup again in the back. So just do your best and call it. Since we called that, we're looking good. A lot of people like to bait with that first one there, Aerial Lace. They go for the uh, dig. So they're letting it go. They do have a Toxicroak Shadow. It's going to be doing a whole hell of a lot of damage. And they started farming up. And we do have to remember that they have Shadow Ball on that now. Okay, so definitely a nice addition to Toxicroak's move pool here as it is going to make me worry about shielding up, as opposed to I could have let that Mud Bomb go and not worry about the counters, right? Hit me with a Sludge Bomb, still not very effective, but they have Shadow Ball, so there you go, very good. And I do believe they just let this go because they know it's over. Uh, yeah, Magnezone. They saw them all while, it, it's a wrap. It's, it's totally wrap. I resist the electric with my dragon, so yeah. Next game, all while into another Empoleon. Great, show me that steel wing. Oh, hell yeah, let's go. Now, it's actually still doing a decent amount of damage because we are part fairy, and that's super effective. The steel kind of neutralizes it, but since we're shadow, it's taken a lot of damage in its small well. All right, power-up punch. We used one shield, unfortunately, and we didn't get one out of them. Uh, I don't see a reason why they really needed to use one anyway, so yep, not too great. Still doing pretty good uh, with that steel wing, I guess. All right. And bring it in Gligar. Man, my worst enemy right now. I'm going to go out there with a two ice Pokemon, and I'll have nothing but steel type encounters. Guarantee. Or fighting. I guarantee you it. I guarantee you it. Just watch. I'll bring you the next video. We'll see what happens with that. Maybe. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be a glutton for punishment. I already know what it's going to do. And shielding up the dig. We have no more shields left. They bring in Annihilate. We're going to go ahead and go for the dis or drink kiss here. They're letting it go. And Giratina, poof, down bad with no health, really. So we're just going to have to uh, wing this here. They are shielding it up. I don't know if we're going to be able to pull this one off here, folks. But it's close. But there you have Shadow Maul Wild's return. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. And we're taking the loss. Take care.
So you're finally here. <laughs> Fantastic. 